to Horsing Around Virginia. I'm your host, Laura Smith, and our guest today is Sandra Zimmerly, who is an amazing show jumper, and I've known her since she was jumping smaller fences and pony club and working her way around courses, and now she makes it look so easy. Sandra, tell us a little bit more about some of your accomplishments riding. In 2012 and 2013, I went to the Zone 3 finals and uh, had the honor of winning both years, which was great to have under my belt in the children's jumpers. And then I moved up and went into the junior jumpers. I've had a couple wins in the classics, which are the bigger money classes. Usually the fences are set higher. And it's more technically demanding. And I've also had the honor of representing my zone, which is zone three, in um, international young rider competitions as well as national young rider, uh, national junior jumper competitions. How high do you jump at these competitions? Um, I'm currently in the high junior jumpers, so it's really anywhere from four foot seven to four foot nine. Wow! So they're big op obstacles. Wow, they yeah. are big obstacles. Yeah. Now, how? Um, now, I, I remember when you were learning to ride in some of your very first comp competitions mm -hmm. um, at Frying Pan Park. Yes. And, um, that was a, a number of years ago, and uh, it seems like a very long time ago for you, but not so long ago for me. Could you tell tell other riders out there who might be watching this what it takes to to get so good, to go from, from just starting out to where you are now? Um, well, first of all, it takes dedication. It's not something that you can just do once a week and expect to start riding at, in the upper levels. You have to ride multiple times a week, try to get on as many horses as possible to strengthen your riding skills. Um, I think that moving on from where you started is not always a bad thing as well. Um, because realistically, when you start in your local uh, school barns, it, they aren't going to take you to the top. They're the ones who teach you your basics. And then you go to more specialized trainers who polish you off and bring you to the upper levels of the shows. We talked a little bit with another friend of mine recently about Pony Club and how it exposes you to different sports and that you get to choose your sport. Um, how did you come to show jumping? I started show jumping um, since... I think my second competition ever, and so that's something I was just um, thrown into. Uh, and then I started doing eventing a little bit, and I was kind of going back and forth between show jumping and eventing, but I think that, you know, I've always liked to gallop up to jumps and make sharp turns, so. Well, I know that you really enjoy jumping, um, but I know, like in Pony Club, they emphasize a lot of dressage mm -hmm. and flat work. Could you speak to the importance of flat work in your jumping? Yeah, so the dressage and flat work is the basic to jumping. Um, without good dressage, you're not going to have good jumping. Uh, that goes for both horse and rider. The horse has to be able to listen to your leg and um, just respond quick, be able to turn, um, and be strong because uh, dressage really does help strengthen them up. Um, it makes you more technically aware of things, and um, yeah, definitely, it's just the the basic of basis of jumping. It's nice to see how that translates from, yes. from the dressage to the jumper. And yeah. Well, thank you so much for showing us your horse today, and uh, it's taking some time to talk with us. Thank you. <laughs>